All right, what's going on, guys? Um, I'm back. It's 2018. For, first vlog of 2018. Um, and I just kind of wanted to make this a sit down and talk video, almost kind of like the last vlog, but, you know, just me and you, just me talking to you. Um, and today in this video, I'm talking goals for this year and forgive me like I, I don't have these written down so a lot of these are going to be short and medium term goals and not like long term goals so forgive me but when I'm recording this tomorrow I have camp and I might just be vlogging all of camp and just put a compilation together of just the best clips of camp or like you know what's going on or whatnot. I might I might do something like that. Um but I don't know. I'm just gonna kinda have to uh play out the moment and uh if the moment's right, you, like you know how it is. Um life happens and you know if it's at that time that like you know I feel like it's gonna be highlight worthy. I'm going to put it, I'm going to try and record it and put it in there, obviously, but, you know, that's just kind of the next thing that I got, um, just kind of, like, thinking in my head, at least, um, for a video. Um, meat vlogs are coming, so that's something I wanted to, uh, mention really quickly as well, that, uh, we do have, uh, meat vlog or meat vlogs and race vlogs and race reports and whatnot coming so that gives me an infinite amount of ammo for videos and you know that kind of thing um but like i said first video of 2018 right now i just want to uh stick to goals so if if you like this video and you want to share your own goals comment down below if you want to share your own goals or something like that or if you or if you want to see another like sit down and talk video like this uh go ahead and like this video but without further ado let's get into this okay i took probably about a 90 second intermission just you know right writing and highlighting some of my goals um so do forgive me on that um obviously you're not going to see uh the 90 seconds where i was just sitting there uh writing some goals and you know that kind of thing but I got five goals here these are necessary these aren't necessarily my top five but they're the first five that really come to mind for for me at least and the first the first one goes for both indoor and outdoor and that is to qualify to the conference meet in two events um 10k 5k outdoors 3k 5k indoors or you know like try try in the try in the mile too because i might be able to make it in the mile who knows um but i want to say the mile qualifier is like 435 or something it's like mid to low 430s and i i was in shape at the end of cross country and at the end of uh the transition to track to go and run a 440 or better and i still believe in my heart that i'm in that shape and i also believe i haven't lost any shape from uh the converted 1604 i ran uh at the cleveland turkey trot which i didn't vlog but i can make a separate video to talk about that um goal number two um this is an indoor goal specifically. It's to break 16 in the 5K. I, I don't think I've gotten that monkey truly off my back yet. Um, qualifying in, uh, or not qualifying, breaking 16 in the 5K. 16-13 um, is the standard. So if I do run another race like I did at the Cleveland Turkey Trot, um. I will qualify and that's the goal for the first meet is to get that standard out of the way um 
and going back a little bit to the first goal, like the mile, I could also run the mile on the DMR if I can run sub 430 or run like a respectable mile, but not necessarily qualify through to the mile. So at least two events, 3K, 5K are definitely priority for me. Um, but that's just a little bonus on goal number one. Like I said, goal two is to break 16 in the 5K. And for me, that's a very straightforward goal breaking 16 in the 5k um and i also have scored an indoor conference again that is strictly an indoor conference goal that's more of a medium term goal um but again top eight i want to say have run like 1530s or 1520s indoors so I, I need to score in one event. The 3K people might be a tad fast for me because as an athlete, I get I get better as the uh, distance gets longer, which is why outdoors, I think I have a really good chance to score, but I'll get into that momentarily. Um, and with this goal, I'm actually going to get in, into it. And I said top five in outdoors, which... I wrote down for the 10K. Um, I've really, really improved. I really think I, I can do it. And running 25 uh, laps, I don't think is going to uh, bug me too much. Um, it's definitely going to help with racing flats because I can save my legs for the next day if I double back in the 5K. Or, you know, if I qualify in another event, I can... Uh, save my legs for that next day and then i want i also want to qualify in uh, the 5k to the oac outdoor meet um and that that again is pretty straightforward i have to run i th i want to say like 1545 or like 1550 or something which is something i've kind of been in the ballpark of but i haven't really done yet at the same time so I, I've qualified, well, qualified if you want to use my converted time from uh, the Cleveland Turkey Trot for the OAC 5K indoors, which means I, I can definitely be in the shape to do it. I just have to uh, go out there and do it. Um, and I, I just have to just work a little bit harder to qualify in the 5K outdoors, but I also believe that's a very realistic possibility for me is qualifying in two events apiece. Breaking 16 for me is almost a sure bet. I just want to have that monkey off my back. Um, and having that monkey off my back is going to be like the biggest help in the world for me to qualify outdoors. Because if I run like, let's say... 3320 which means realistically i'd be in shape to break 16 and a 5k and i just don't do it i'm gonna have that monkey on my back for a long long time and i don't want to have that monkey on my back come outdoor season i want to see um when i cross that line at any meet um whether it's oac north or the hillsdale uh, wide track classic or you know, any other meet that that we run and I'm running the 5K in, I just want to come across the line and see like 15.55 on the clock, something like that. Something below 16 just to, uh, you know, just get it out of the way indoors just so I can do it again come outdoor season. Because I remember when I first saw 17 or like I saw sub 17 on the clock and that was uh middle of my freshman year in Worcester at the uh, Worcester invite outdoors it took me a while to do it again but I also knew that I did it before so I knew that if I just worked and raced it smart I could and uh eventually that's what ended up going on and it's a very it's a very similar situation with breaking 16 or even coming close to my qualifying 
time. I was 14 seconds off last year, actually more like 20. Um, I was, I think I was like 25 seconds off. And then I only lowered my time by six seconds outdoors, um, which to me is kind of pathetic because out, outdoors you're making a lot less turns and uh, it just feels like a lot less. Um, and that was the only 5K I ran. So I've definitely improved a ton in that distance and I, I just really think I need a shot at it. I, I just need one good shot good field that can carry me under and I will and um you know that's just kind of my thought process um and to my teammates who uh, are watching this video um I wrote this I wrote all my goals on the back of a a bag that says good luck yellow jackets and um to my teammates I also want to wish you the best of luck throughout this season. Um, it doesn't matter if I know you're not or if you're coming to this video and you're just kind of finding out about this whole thing that I'm doing here. Um, I Just know that you can talk to me about anything. Um, I wish you the best of luck in your academic and athletic endeavors. Um, I'll be around. You, you know where to find me. I don't think I'll be that hard to find. I'll just be the moron walking around with a phone out. <laughs> Uh, I, I didn't want to make it sound like that, but I just did to myself. And um, another goal I guess I can throw on here for the end of this video is, and this was one that I contemplated talking about, but it's one I'm going to put down anyways. And it's be a leader. Just be a leader that, that, you know, uh, people on the team can get behind. Just be so someone this team can get behind and just learn. Learn from uh, my friends uh, who have been in leadership positions before or have taken leadership classes and know what this deal is. So, yeah, those are my six goals for this year. Um, again, thanks for watching this video. Comment down below what your goals are for the year 2018, I might make a separate video for academic goals, um, but I might not at the same time. But yeah, again, like I said, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe if you're new. The link thing's going to be up here. Previous videos over here. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to uh, where you can uh, well make these. Um, it's a super cool site. Um, they're not super big, but they're for a good cause, and uh, I really like the quality of the product. Plus, I got it BW themed, so it, it, they're really cool. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I'll leave that link in uh, the top of the description. And all right, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.